What's up guys, Alex here, and I recently got into a relationship with the absolute woman of my dreams. She is amazing. And I wanna show you guys exactly how I did that very systematically, especially going from being a guy five years ago who couldn't get a date for <laughs> the life of him. All right, I was like an engineer doing pretty well in life, but I just couldn't get any dates to actually be able to systematically go on two to three dates every single week and go and find and filter for the actual woman that I want based on the standards that I have, the qualities I wanted, and then get into a relationship with her. And so, first of all, I just gotta say I'm really, really friggin' happy. I mean, this girl is absolutely gorgeous, totally my type. I love the way that she looks at me. Her smile is beautiful. You know, most importantly, she has all the qualities that I was looking for, you know, caring, supportive, feminine, smart, intelligent, um, always there like emotionally and supportive and believes in me just without a shadow of a doubt is kind of my queen by my side adventurous funny I might be repeating myself now but the point is you know I had like a laundry list of things that I was looking for and I went out and found this girl it wasn't this like spray and pray approach it was like I want these in a partner and I'm gonna go find this girl. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did that. Um, you know, real quick flashback. Five years ago, this was me. Um, you know, I was a good on paper guy. Like I had a nice engineering job at Oracle and you know, I'm pretty much the same guy in terms of like having a bunch of talents, you know, that I thought were like very attractive, like playing instruments and knowing languages. Being a good on paper guy, I had friends, I had hobbies, I, was not like a complete weirdo or anything, but I just couldn't get a date for the life of me. I'd be happy if I went on like two dates in a year. How did I go from that to actually, you know, here's me and my dating profile, but more importantly, how did I actually go to be able to have choice with women, to be able to go on dates at will, to be able to choose a woman for the long term and not have to settle? Here's the very simple four step process it's simple, but it took me the last, you know, four years basically to figure this out. Okay, especially as an Asian guy, it was just harder. It was so freaking hard because I had no role models. I had nobody to show me the way. So hopefully, you know, if you're an Asian guy watching this, this lights your path forward. Okay. So the first thing that I did was I identified all my attractive traits. And the thing is, I kind of knew them in my head already. I kind of knew I was good on paper. I have all these things going for me. Putting them down on paper helped me really think about, okay, these are my attractive traits and how can I actually get women to see them? Because what I felt was, look, I have all these good things going for me, but women don't seem to like perceive that from me. So, you know, I wrote down like smart, hardworking, successful. I have a soft side, you know, vulnerable side, well-traveled. I play a couple instruments, you know, piano, guitar. I know how to dance. I know a couple languages. Uh, I think like three at that time. So I was like, I'm a pretty well-rounded dude. And you know, I hit the gym. I'm not, I wasn't like the most jacked or anything. Uh, I'm still not, I'm still just kind of like an average build. I was like, there's a lot of things going for me. And I see guys like far lower in value than me getting with way more girls. And it blew my mind. I was like, this doesn't make any sense. What I started asking myself was, okay, how do I actually market this to women? How do I market this to women in a way that they'll perceive this? Because obviously I'm not a low value guy. Something's not getting translated across to the women that I'm trying to attract, right? And the reason I kind of put this as a first step is because I kind of almost did this like unconsciously in my mind. I was like, yeah, this, this makes a lot of sense to do, but a lot of my clients don't even realize, <laughs> you know, how many attractive traits they have. So they're starting from a slightly lower point where they're like, I don't even have anything interesting or attractive going on for me. And so what I help them do is like figure out what their existing traits are that are good and attractive that they can market in the right way to women because everybody has attractive traits. If you don't believe that, it just means you haven't marketed them in the right way, which means that you've probably been rejected a bunch of times and feel like you're unattractive. But if you market anything in the right way, there's somebody out there who wants to buy it. That's the first thing I did is I got really clear on what am I trying to convey to women? And then from there, well, that it got hard after that because I was like, I don't know what to do from there. So I knew I needed to present myself well. Okay, I don't really know anything about fashion and my hair is kind of a mess and I don't think I look the best. I, that's something that I could improve, right? It's in my control. So I 
redid my wardrobe. I kid you not. I redid my wardrobe about every six months for the last like four or five years, just experimenting with new styles, copying people on Instagram, trying to figure out what works for me as well. And also doing different haircuts. Probably tried four or five, six different haircuts before I found one that like really resonates with me and that women found attractive on my face, you know? And then I learned to take photos that actually work for online dating and for Asian men. This was massively challenging. I mean, I picked up a camera, started learning photography, started learning editing, taking my friends out for shoots, having them try to shoot me. We were just amateurs, like guiding each other in the dark, the blind you know leading the blind I probably redid my profile like six seven or eight times at least in the last few years to get to the point where I understood the different factors and psychological triggers that make a dating profile work especially for Asian guys you know I had some help from different white mentors but <laughs> whatever they taught me was only like a fraction of what I actually needed it got me started but it never took me all the way because I had to invent my own stuff to like really make it work for me as an Asian guy. And then, you know, let's just say this took me like <laughs> basically four years. I mean, I would say it took me about, let's just say three to four years before I actually got it to the point where it was like totally honed in and dialed in. Not only was it working for me, I was getting dates and attraction from women, but I understood why it worked and how it worked and what doesn't work and why it doesn't work. And then the other part that I really heavily focused on was writing bios, okay, for my dating profile that actually get women attracted and curious. And, you know, I've seen this time and time again with guys, it's like, you know, we write our bios how we think <laughs> they should be written in a way that, you know, we think would be attractive. And most of the time it comes across kind of like a LinkedIn resume, which is the exact opposite of what you want to do. And you want to write your bio more like a story that gets people hooked in and intrigued and wants to know more. And once I figured that out, boosh, like that, that took my dating profile to a whole nother level in terms of getting women wanting to find out more about me and also conveying more about me too. Once I learned to present myself well, based on the attractive traits that I already had, that's when I started, you know, really getting some attention from a movement. I was like, bingo, like I'm not unattractive. I just didn't know how to present myself attractively. And then from there, I basically had an attraction cyst because my dating profile was fully optimized. In theory, one and done. For me, it was like 10 times and done. <laughs> For my clients, it's one and done. But the thing is, it's systematic. I could spend 10 or 15 to 30 minutes per day to set up, you know, two to three dates per week, just like, like that, like clockwork. It's digital, <laughs> it's digital. Like there's no spray and pray. There's no hoping that, you know, some new girl enters my friend group and I can wait six months before I hit on her or ask her out or something. There's no like, I'm gonna approach girls that I see at the coffee shop and at the bars and then freak out and then not do any approaches for two weeks. This is like, I press a button and I can go on dates at will, no matter how bad I'm feeling, no matter if I'm sick, no matter if I have COVID, no matter if I have cancer, do a little swiping, twiddle my thumbs a little bit and boosh, I have dates set up. So now I have this system, right? And at this point, you know, I started going on a lot of dates having a lot of fun. I was not really in a place in my life where I wanted to settle down. I just wanted to have a lot of fun and I absolutely did. And if you want to do that, you know, that's perfectly cool. Honestly, most of my students are in a later stage of life where they want to settle down and you know, this is the perfect system for that. But if you just want to have fun and you know, maybe sleep with a lot of girls, gain some experience before you settle down, this is, there's no better way, literally. Because once you have this set up, you can just go on a massive volume of dates that you can't do with any other way of dating. And then from there, I got really, really good at texting because I was doing it all the time. What I figured out was like how to stand out from the average guy because if you're texting like every other dude, like, hey, or like, hey, how are you? Or asking some question about like, oh, like, is that your dog? Or like, you know, where was this trip? like. If that's your opener, you're probably not getting results. Like, it's just the same thing that every single other guy is saying. So like, you know, if you don't go against the mainstream, you're just gonna get the same results as the mainstream. And 99% of guys on dating apps are not getting any results. 1% is getting all the girls. You kinda have to do things a little bit differently. So once I figured that out, boosh, next level, more girls agreeing to dates. In person, I got tons of practice. I mean, I probably went on like 150 plus dates now 
in my life and you know I, I learned a bunch of stuff about like charming and flirting and uh, escalation and leading and just all the things that make the first date and the first few dates go really well because we've all had that experience of like going on the first date and you know the girl afterwards is like ah oh, like I didn't really feel it or I'm not really trying to date anyone right now you're like what what does this mean right um, basically it means you're getting put in the friend zone and that happened to me a lot <laughs> in like the first year or two of me trying this stuff but eventually I figured out you know what I needed to do communication wise to actually get her attracted want to sleep with me want to continue seeing me and seeing me as a dateable person not just like a friendly teddy bear from there I worked a lot on dating as in like going on you know, days between the second to fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh date kind of thing, right? Where you move things forward from being a stranger to actually being a relationship. Actually increasing in intimacy, emotionally, intellectually, spending more time with each other, physically, going from two people who just have coffee together to two people who maybe are doing different activities together or going on trips together. About the end of 2022 is when I started getting a little bit tired of you know, having a bunch of short experiences with women and the thing is I was also traveling a lot so it, it was kind of hard for me to have a long-term relationship but I was really starting to be ready for it like starting 2023 so that's when I intentionally sat down I was like okay I want this 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 qualities in a woman I have this exact type of woman that I like physically so she's gonna look like that no questions asked yeah I started intentionally looking for a woman and the thing is I could intentionally look for her because I have an attraction system I can just click a button have dates lined up and just go go on dates until I find her right and I knew what to do on dates so if I met her I wouldn't like fumble the ball like most guys are like spraying and praying hoping that they can somehow magically get dates I don't know how that works like how that logic works but if you don't know how to like systematically set up dates you are putting one of the most important decisions of your life in the hands of fate like who am I going to spend the rest of my life with and make children with let me just toss that up to fate and gamble and hope that she somehow finds me like <laughs> I hate to break it to you man but like that's just not gonna work or it's if you somehow get a woman it's not gonna be the woman that you actually want it's gonna be some woman who shows some interest in you and you were like as eh, maybe this is good enough and I certainly never ever wanted to settle that's why I worked so damn hard to set up this attraction system for myself and so you know over the course of three, four months this year, I probably went on 30 something dates with different women. And keep in mind, I'm going on like second, third, fourth dates too. Some never went past the first date. I didn't like them or they didn't like me, whatever that happens, or we're just not what we're looking for. But you know, I had a lot of fun, met a lot of girls, went on adventures. And then around maybe the third month is when I met this girl and she was awesome. And it took me probably like three, four days before I started realizing like, oh, this might actually be that exact girl that I'm looking for. And we probably went on about eight or nine dates before I was like, oh my God, like I'm totally sold. This, this is my woman. And I made her my girlfriend and that was that. And I'm super happy. And the thing is like, <laughs> yeah, had I just been in a position where I was spraying and praying like, and got one random date, I would have just settled. I would have just settled for any girl who, you know, would take her clothes off for me. Right. <laughs> Sounds crude, but it's true. And a lot of guys do it. And yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I met this girl on Tinder. So it's like, this absolutely works. You know, I, I went on all those dates from online. That's the exact system that I used to meet the exact girl of my dreams. And the thing is, it took me, you know, four, five, it took me about four years to like figure out this system and make it work for me. And then, you know, by the fifth years when I was like, yeah, I'm ready to settle down and find a girlfriend. But the thing is like, <laughs> you probably don't have four to five years that you probably don't want to spend that amount of time. My clients set their stuff up, set their profile up in three to four weeks and boosh, they're going on dates. And like immediately off the bat, two to three dates every single week. Some guys go crazy and go on like five dates in their first week. Here I was as a good on paper Asian guy and here I am as a actually good on paper Asian guy who's presented well. The women can perceive that good on paperness, <laughs> all the value that I'm bringing to the table. Sounds really simple. Honestly, there's just only two questions um, if you're an Asian guy who's got hobbies, you got friends, you're doing well in your career. Uh, you're probably getting a little bit, you know, later in your age where you're ready to start settling down. 
And it's like, do you want to spend the next five to 10 years figuring out this whole entire system on your own? Or do you want to spend a little bit of money maybe and just boosh, have it one and done handed to you and just start going on dates left and right? And if you want to see like, you know, examples of guys going on dates, just check out the YouTube channel, you know, client interviews. Um, check out my Instagram, alex.asian.dating and click through the client results in my highlights until your fingers are sore. Seeing all the other normal, normal Asian guys are just like engineers or business owners or doctors, you know, just going on dates left and right and just being like super normal dudes. So yeah, um, if this sounds like something that you would want to also learn and see how you could implement it and actually find a girlfriend that you're not settling for, somebody that you actually really enjoy, go ahead and book in a call below. Use the link below. We can talk one-on-one -on -one to see if this would be a good fit for you. I do not work with every single person. You must be a good fit. If you're a good fit, <laughs> that means you're pretty much gonna get results because those are the only guys that I want in my program. Go ahead and book in a call. We can talk about it. And in addition, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel so that way you can get a little notification ding every single time I release a new video so that way you can learn new stuff uh, every single time I put out a new video all right so that's it for today see you guys in the next video